a lot of people don't know Native culture, and they showed up to the movement trying to get a little taste of it, get a little understanding of what mm-hmm. our people have been going through for centuries, and and they believe these people because all the people convinced them, powerful people, people with a voice at the camp convinced these people to believe nonsense, and and the bigger picture destroyed the camp, destroys our people every time. I mean, you know, we're dealing. We're not just dealing with Morton County. We're dealing with our own people who turn their backs on us. That's right. I watched these people lie. I watched these people, my people, the one I'm supposed to sit there and honor and respect, mistreat their elders. My mom was older than most of the men there that day at security on December 17th. Half those men I knew. And, you know, what I asked for is all the people involved who knew the truth, who knew we were good people and that we were not, in fact, abusing my grandmother, and my mom was, in fact, not doing any of these crazy things that they're accusing her of, and to step forward and to speak to that, because that's respecting the elders. That's showing my grandmother and my mother, who are elders, and everyone wants to respect the elders in the culture and at the camp, and that's why they did this in the first place, to honor them and to speak the truth. Spreading lies is not honoring the elder that's involved right now. The elder they set to, you know, help And they spread this whole lie that she needed help from her family. She needed to be saved. When in reality, she needs you to speak the family, speak the truth about the family. The family she knows. The family she can't speak about because she has dementia. Because her, you know, it doesn't function right anymore. She can't hold complete sentences. She can't speak for herself anymore. So she needs people like me, my uncle, her family, her blood. People who honestly care about the well-being of everyone and just want to help. A lot of people showed up to North Dakota just wanting to help. There's tons of people I'm reading in this feed that just want to help, and I'm forever grateful to the people who truly want to. And, you know, and in those mix, there's going to be people who try to ruin things, and, and that's what we're learning. We're, they're coming out of the woodwork. They're all panicking because we have more than they thought. We have more evidence. We have substantial stuff that people are going to sit here and be like, holy crap, this is enough right here to show that what we've been saying is not secondhand information. It's not hearsay. It's not rumors that are, you know, ruining this woman's good name. It's, it's the truth. And it's, it's all relying on people sharing the story, people tuning in right now, liking it, spreading the news at work, talking to their friends about it, saying, you know, while we're focused about, you know, all these injustices on the other water protectors, why are we not focused on two vulnerable women? You know, one who being <laughs> two vulnerable water protectors. My grandma's heritage speaks for herself, our mm-hmm. heritage. I mean, we are of the bloodline that's protecting those lands. Mm-hmm. We come from the bloodline that died to ensure that. And people respected and honored that at the camp. And they know who they are. They know who we knew and who knew us and who I walked around with on the daily. These people know who they are, and now they have a chance to come forward and speak the truth, and I hope they do. I hope they're willing to respect and honor me and help me the way they portray that they said they respected me. They liked what I was doing, the work that we were going to do, the changes we were going to make at camp. I call to them now to step forward. You respected me and you honored me, then show it. I need your help. I need everyone's help, anyone's help. We all do, and, and we're, we're right there, but these people are powerful, and they're, they're always one step ahead. And the only way we can defeat them is unity. And they banked on us not standing here today doing this to them. Well, no, actually, she told me and my girlfriend both oh. that uh, my sister had... Uh, uh, wiped out my mom account. That was her. That was her exact words. Really. And she, and she said that she had uh, used the money on hotels and a lawyer, and you know. So, you know, I I I went ahead. I went to the bank and I closed that account, my mom's account, and I opened up another account. Mm-hmm. You know, channel money in there, and. and I was a little curious, so uh, what my sister had done 
you know, and I wanted to see why they're making a big fuss about it because we had, you know, we, we knew what my sister was doing with my mom. It wasn't a big thing. They were supporting each other. But, I mean, we, uh, I had to uh, get to the bank and I got the statements from that old account. And I started going through and sure enough, on the 20th of January, there was a withdrawal for $1,292.17. Uh, taken out. So the bank account was cleaned out. It was so cleaned said, out. Oh, okay. Can we show that? It was clean. Can we show yeah. that? What, so it yeah, it's what, up on screen. And it wasn't your 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 sister Kathleen that cleaned out the account. Who was it that cleaned out oh, the it account? Was it was Melanie cleaned out the account and she blamed it on my sister. Wow. You know what I mean? You know, I stay I stay in the shadows but I watch these feeds and I see all these conversations happening and I see all the people saying they think they know something, and they don't. No one does. Majority of the people that are talking about this, I've never seen. They never once came on those specific days that my family was targeted. I knew the people that were there. I knew the majority of them. The ones I didn't, I knew they were just along for the ride, following whatever order they were being told. <clears throat> you know, and mind you, it was, a, it was a camp and volunteers. You know, these weren't credentialed wielding people these weren't people called upon the state or you know the un to come and protect these people these were volunteers and a lot of them were good people but a lot of them weren't and they the, the people involved took advantage of the whole situation <clears throat> and for people to sit back and say yeah we believe it happened and because this person told us we trust them it's like you know then you should really start trusting your judgment calls because i'm watching a lot of people walk around that camp believing in nonsense and that's what destroyed this camp. And I watched it firsthand. You know, people want to say, were you at camp? Well, yes, I was there. I was in the heart of it. I was in the shit. I was sleeping to protect supplies so other people wouldn't sell or steal it. I slept in the coldest of conditions. I made that sacrifice to ensure we can create a shelter, some place for the people who were getting kicked out or removed or to have somewhere to go because they were just going to throw them off into the night, throw them off into the storm. Hey, get out of here. We don't want you here anymore. It's sickening to know that people believe that. I mean, it's like you come into a peaceful place where they're trying to only pray and they're only trying to make sure that the water isn't poisoned for their families and people can't even afford to leave the reservation. You know, that's why I stood there. That's why, because all my family who can't make it, who couldn't make it, I stood for them. I stood for families that don't have a voice. I stood for people I didn't know. And for people to come in and ruin that and to treat people like this and to watch it firsthand... It's disgusting, and it's, I will not stop until the truth is brought out and that justice is served. 